Baltimore Live, and I am Chris Igo of Igo Home Group, powered by Remax Direct. It is Monday, it is June 11th, and we are doing big things. We are getting shit done. We're also starting a little bit later than I would normally like to have started, but um, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, so let's just call this today's test of calling at 8.14 versus calling at 7.30. And away we go. So there are, actually, there's a good amount of records to call because I didn't call uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So there are 42 available records to call. One of those is going to be filtered out. What's up, Rich? Hey, congrats on the, uh, I'm going full time, man. That's awesome. You are going to do amazing. You're already doing amazing. Um, what's up, Justino? Yeah, man. <laughs> Today I'm slacking. A little bit late to the party, but that's all right. That's all right, because I'm going to make up for it now. You will see. I will get an appointment. I will do it here. I will do big things. I will get shit done. And everybody will have a great day. All right, so connecting to the dialer. Um... Uh, let's not play this game with me today. Where is my... Uh, there are... I don't, I'm sure there are. There's 41 right here. Here we go. So what I do is I upload the um, the list into Mojo. It automatically loads itself, but it doesn't segregate it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I don't I don't segregate the data. It's just a big batch of whatever I haven't called. So I don't really know how many um, Fizbos are in there. I suspect a, a decent amount, but we will we will find out in real time. All right, away we go. My uh, my video strategy has been really paying off, though. I, I got um, I haven't found a good way to track it yet. Of course, I haven't really spent a lot of uh, paid a lot of attention or time trying to track it, but um, my visibility within my sphere has increased dramatically, and um, I'm getting referrals from it. The call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system, 2018886110. All right, so away we go. What time do you get? <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I... It varies, right? Um, I've got two sick kids right now, so uh, the last couple days have kind of been a cluster. Um, I try to be up somewhere between 5 and 5.30, and um, when I am able to do that, then it's like a precision morning. The last couple days have not been, <laughs> have not been like that. So, <clears throat> so you get it in when you can. What's up, Mary Kay? Good morning. Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious. Oh, uh, it's, it's not available anymore. Okay, good. Put your guns back in your holster. I'm not asking you to sell it. Well, well it was on the market. It looked like you uh, were on there for 182 days. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? 
Yeah, yeah, it's not available anymore. Okay. Are you thinking about moving ever? Okay. What? Are you thinking about moving ever? No, 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 no. It's uh, already rented out for two, two years. Oh, it's rented for two years? Okay. Hey, would it offend you if I texted you my contact information? This way, two years from now, when, when maybe your needs change, you know where to find me. Okay, what's, what's your best email address for me to stay in touch with you? Uh, just text me, yeah, you can text me. Okay, yeah, but what I'd also like to do is, is send you an analysis on the property based on price. This way you know what the home values are. If you ever have any questions, you know where to find me. What's your best email address? Super. I appreciate it. And what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll set you up just to receive monthly notifications about the home values in your area. If you ever have any questions, if there's ever anything I can do to help you, you know where to find me. All right. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. Hey, have a great day. You've been a perfect gentleman. Okay. Let me ask great you this. Job. When I do sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and hang up on me? <laughs> All right. Um, so, I will put him on a subdivision drip. I will send him a video text message. I will not send him a CMA. I will write down that he has a, a lease in place for two years. Leased for two years. And I will follow up. Put him in uh. all right next Can look it up in tax records. Hi, this is Audrey. I'm probably out in the garden. So uh, please leave your name, phone number, and I'll get back with you shortly. And have a great day. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, uh, hey Audrey. Uh, Hey, Audrey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. You're out in the garden. I'm here in the office. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious how on earth the property did not sell. We specialize in selling properties just like yours in Boynton Heights. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. I would love an opportunity to bend your ear in relation to actually getting it sold. If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. So let's pause this uh, left voicemail. Send video text. Uh, Britt, do I leave messages for Fizbo's? Uh, yes, I do. And depending on, so there's a there's forty one to dial today right now. Um, depend. <laughs> It really kind of just depends on when I see the lead, whether the the property is close enough and intrigues me to actually leave a um, a, a physical voicemail versus a um, uh, a voicemail drop. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I use the uh, I'm using a single line or triple line. I use the triple line for everything. So I just import whatever the day's data is and then run it through the uh, run it through the blaster which is the mojo dialer. So, 
<clears throat> Hopefully that answers your question. Hello. Hi, this is Stephen Elias. Thank you for your call. I am sorry that I am not able to pick up right now, but please leave a message after the time. Yeah. So I just drop a voicemail on him. <clears throat> Hello, this is Chris Igo with Re So What's up, Adam? Hello. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Hello? Um, well, I don't think... <laughs> uh, so they hung up on me. I'm calling them right back immediately. Morning. Good morning. It's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. It was... Oh, good. Put your guns back in your holster. I'm not going to ask you to sell anything. I am curious. While you were on the market for 357 days, did you have any offers on the property? So I'm going to call him right back because his house is a, a million four and I don't like getting blown off the phone like that. I have to teach him a lesson in manners. <laughs> My, my man, it's Chris Igo. I get it. You're not selling. I totally respect that. But I, I have no, no, stay on the phone with me. I love you too much. Now, question for you. While you were on the market for 357 days, did you have any offers? Be honest. <laughs> um, I'm going to just, I just feel like the fourth time's a charm. <laughs> Now he's probably going to be pissed. Hello? Do I have the right number? Listen, what? stop calling here. Oh, well, I've got a buyer, so I'm curious. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? All right. I've got hundreds of buyers. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm going to put him there. <laughs> I'll go to the next one. <clears throat> Hello, this is Chris Igo. <laughs> so the lesson there is just keep calling him back. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. Excuse was... me. Yes. Uh, excuse me. We are not. We are not listing. Okay. You called us before. I did not. Please do not call. Okay. Again. Put your guns back in your holster and answer my question. While you were on the market for 120 days, did you have any offers on the property, Hyman? His name is Hyman. Uh, so I know that this is going to go nowhere, but I got to call him back. <clears throat> uh, uh, hi, this is Chris Igo. Real, real quick, you got me confused for the wrong person here. I didn't call you earlier. So I you, yeah, I, I never called you. This is the third time you've called I have not called you once. Put your gun put your guns back in your holster, okay? It's the first time I'm calling you. You may have gotten phone calls from other realtors, but that's because you're coming up as an expired listing. Now it looks like you were on the market for I'm not listed. I'm not listed. Okay. I'm not for sale. Good. Please do not call me again. Okay, now do me a favor, take the cotton out of your ears and put it in your mouth for a second. I'm gonna teach you something. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? Uh -huh. 
So <laughs> saying to take the cotton out of your ears and put it in your mouth. Hello, this is... Please leave your message for Chuck. It really never works, but it is... Um... <laughs> It is a surefire way to uh, make yourself feel good. <clears throat> and take the power back. <sighs> yes, it is. <laughs> it, that's me pulling back into the old school stock brokerage uh, things to say on the phone. To shut somebody up. A better way of saying it now would be, or a more polite way of saying that, it's a pattern interrupt. Hello, this is Chris. Hi, I'm sorry, Mr. Call, but please leave a message after the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Most people on the phones who are doing outbound prospecting are scared shit. So when somebody says something to them. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? I'm going to have to call right back. But they're scared. Hello, this is... Hello, you have reached the Owensive. Please leave your message after the Thank you. Uh, do you really think I'm that? <laughs> exactly. But here's my point. So, like, most people aren't used to, they say, hello. If number is on the do not call list. Do you want me to report you? If that's what you choose to do. However, the reason I'm giving you a call um, is because I do have buyers that are interested in your property. Now, why don't we start this oh, over? Yeah, everybody put, does. Okay, so put your guns back in your holster and let's start over. It seems like you were on the market for 172 days. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? I'm calling her right back. Okay, now so what are they going to do different? What are they going to do different this time than the last 172 days that they didn't get your property look, sold? Look, I'm, do you really have an interested buyer? I do. Now, but I also have oh, a no. I, I do, but I also have a real question because for you. You know what? Every realtor says I've got an interested buyer. Right. And here's the difference. And just just so you know, uh, I'm with Remax Direct. I've got six offices down here. I've sold fifteen thousand homes since two thousand and eight. We're averaging one a day. Um, let me ask you this: If well, just you contact, just contact my realtor. Well, you don't have one because you're, you're but right now. You don't have one because it's expired. Okay, that's why you're getting yeah, the phone I calls today. But let me ask you I this: did, did you have any offers on the property while it was listed for one hundred and seventy two days? Well, we're just going to keep calling her back until we get. To so do not call list. I've got a broker. We got a live one here. Marjorie. Thank you for calling Great Escape Travel. Please leave your name and number, including your echo, and we'll call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Weak. Weak. I don't care about the DNC. I don't care about. Look. Morgan's office. This is Morgan. Hey, Morgan. This is Chris Igo with Remax. Is Kevin in? He's not, but I can take a message. Ah, uh, that's all right. I'll try him back. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hello. This is. <clears throat> yes, I did leave a message. Um, so look, hello, this is Chris. Please reach Michelle, leave me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. There's a million ways to talk yourself out of the do not call, um, 
violation. So I'm not particularly concerned about that. Um, I also know it's an easy way for them to blow you off the phone. So I'm not really concerned about that. Um, the mindset that I have, and the other thing is, they're used to, whoever I'm talking to is used to just blowing people off the phone. So if you don't push them back a little bit more aggressively, they're just going to run you over and hang up on you. So, and most of the competition that's making these phone calls doesn't have the internal fortitude to push back. So if you do push a little bit, you're Hello. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? I've got it pre-listed, thank you. Oh, good. Who'd you go with? Now, that one is in a mandatory membership golf club club community, so I'm not going to push too hard on that because I don't really want it. So pattern interruption is the term I stole from uh, John Cheplak. I didn't come up with it. But the concept of it is people are used to just, you know, blowing you off the phone. They're used to people either being, they're either used to being glad handled by somebody on the phone or they're used to just having all the power in the conversation. So if you have um, bullets in your gun of things to say to them um, quickly, chances are you're going to interrupt their... Hello, this... Hello? Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I, I just said it is relisted. Thank I, you. Oh, okay. Did you have any offers while it was listed for 56 days? This is the same lady that I didn't want to deal with before. Um, so you have to have a um, an arsenal of of comebacks um, and there are, or rebuttals. Better way of saying it, um, because if you can get through the initial blow off, chances are they're going to listen. And once once they're listening, then you got them. All I need is a second to be able to get past, because they're not listening in the blow-off stage of the conversation, which is right at, right at front. They've, so it's 837 right now. They've probably gotten 10 phone calls from other realtors. If I can say something that differentiates myself and makes them shut up for one second just to listen, I just need one second, then, then you're in. <clears throat> uh, how am I recording this live? Uh, Hello, this is Hello. Chris. Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. My property is off the market. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I, I see that it was uh, it was canceled. Did you have any uh, offers on the property while it was listed? Hello? So I'm just going to call her right back. <clears throat> Rich, it's reps. That's all it is. It's reps. So what I what I do and what I what I certainly did early on when I was getting on the phone. Hi, this this is Chris. Hi, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Hello. Um, <clears throat> Kenji, me too. I would love to be on the podcast. Um, but so what I've done and certainly early on in my uh, career on the phone, anytime I, I needed, well, first of all, anytime I hear anybody say something good, I write it down. Um, and then I remember it and store it for later use. You can go online and find a million different resources of things to say, different scripts, whatever. Um, and so, and even to this day, I'll still go out there and look for things to say and just write them down. So I constantly am refreshing um, the bullets that are in my gun. Um, but then, uh, so like, I don't know if you can see in the background over there on the uh, Tebow jersey that's hanging, I've got, those are scripts and rebuttals. Um, anytime I fuck up on the phone or I don't know what to say, I automatically write it down and... Um, 
and usually I post it on the wall. I've got actually, I've got some stuff behind me. Um, but you just want to continue to build your arsenal of things to say because then it becomes repetitive. There's only a few things, there's only a few rebuttals that, that come up all the time that you have to address, but you got to be able to nail them every time. It's got to come out naturally. Um, there's an old saying, if you blink, you sink. So don't blink. And to be very honest, um, when we did the uh, the last in-person mastery alumni, um, when was this? Not October. I forget, this is a few months ago. <clears throat> Whatever. Um, so there was a there was a live role play um, where I got asked to do a rebuttal for um, for a Fizbo and like. They, I forget what it was. I think it was like they wanted to, they didn't want to pay a commission or something, but it was in front of the entire group and I completely forgot. I blanked. I didn't know what to say. Hello. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. My records indicate that your property is for sale by owner. Is that true? Is this a person? It, it is a person, yeah. Uh, you well listen there, there might you might have gotten a phone call from a different Remax agency that that's possible but that's that's not me so yeah is is your property uh, for sale by owner is that true yeah awesome i love it how much are you asking for the property uh 348 348 okay fantastic how many bedrooms how many baths Mm -hmm. So it's a three-two. You can do anything with the extra room, but it's in the front of the house behind French doors, and it has uh, laminate flooring in that room. Okay. And then it's got a uh, screened-in porch in the back, and it has a gorgeous landscape yard. It's one of the largest yards in Sorbet, and I am in a good school system, K through twelve. I I am uh, Trayvon's Elementary line. Yeah, no, you're a hundred percent right, and I'm very familiar with the area. I actually, um, I well, we've we've got six offices down here in South Florida. We've sold fifteen thousand homes since two thousand and eight. We're averaging one a day. But I grew up in the area, so I, I know exactly where you are. I know the school oh, systems. All right. Um, I graduated. Well, I'm in the house, nice to you. I moved in there when I was early pregnant, yeah. and now my baby just graduated high school. Nice. Right, well, congratulations. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, that's a that's a big accomplishment. Well, let me ask you this: um, Are you trying to sell the property by not having it on the market with a real estate professional? Is it because you hate realtors? Appreciate your. I, I appreciate you being uh, so candid with me. Let me ask you: What do you owe on the property?
to the. I want to say 128 or something. Okay. And then the nine, and then I want to buy a house free and clear of four years. Okay. Well, I, I've and got. And I know I'm going to have to buy like I'm going to have to buy nothing like what I have, believe me. But I'm willing to do that. Mm-hmm. I just want to have peace and serenity, and I don't want to have a mortgage. Now I got to put this little motherfucker through college. <laughs> Yeah. So, well, I've got good news for you, first and foremost. Uh, number one, um, we, we have a full-time, full-service real estate team that specializes in accomplishing your goals. Um, we do have uh, some rock star agents up uh, where you're looking, so we would certainly be able to help you find a property if it gets to that wow. point. Now, but here's what I'd like to propose to yeah. you, because I, I fully respect your loyalty to your friend. I get it. I also know that, or at least my suspicion is, that at the end of the day, your real loyalty is to your bottom line. The, it's to myself. It's to yourself, correct. Exactly. So let me ask you this. Right. That's, why it's, that's why I put it up. Right. I put it up because I thought, you know, you can't be mad at me if I give it a shot. She said, no, I can't. And I said, well, that's what you Yeah. I mean, well, you're. You know, I got news for you. Not that I don't love everybody. I just want. I just want to find a little house, and I want to be free and clear, and I want to try to help my boy. You so I'm probably get a party his ass off, and I'm gonna rip it all away anyway. But I'm giving him the shot. You gotta get. You gotta give him a shot, and you know what? You, you need to put the most money possible into your pocket. Period. End of story. And that's what I do. So let me ask you this question: If you knew absolutely for certain. That by doing business with me, two things would happen. Number one, the property will sell, period. Number two, you will end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way with or without an agent. Now, I know it's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. So, what are you you saying? You're not going to buy it from me? You're going to sell to someone else? You're like going to float it? No, what I'm going to do is this. It, what, so here, here's what my proposal is right now. The first thing I'm going to do when we get off the phone is I'm going to text you my contact information, save it in your phone. This way you know who I am when I call you back. I suspect that you're probably going to get a lot of phone calls from realtors, so I, I want you to remember who I am. Yeah, I am. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what is this? I put it up to have somebody buy it, and all I'm getting is realtors. And I got news for you. That's probably all that you're going to get because the reality of it is when you put it on Zillow and put it on Trulia, if you actually look at where your name ranks on the list, you're the last person. There's about six agents that have paid for advertising in front of you, and all of those people get to see the, all of the buyers who are actively looking for properties, they see them first. So Zillow and Trulia, honestly, it's a scam. <laughs> That's There's no better way for, for me to put it than that. Now, you may you still... Think I- No, here's what I think you should do. Here's here's what my proposal is. I'm going to run an analysis on the property as it relates to price, and I'm going to email that to you. What's your this way we're both fluent and speaking the same language as it relates to price. What's your best email address? Lawrence Adams, my main name, Lawrence Adams 13, L A U R E N Z A. All right. Got it. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to text you my contact information. I'm going to email you an analysis on the property as it relates to price. In there, I'll also include a net sheet. So you have a, uh, a what the actual numbers look like at the end of the day. But here, here's what I'd like to do if it meets with your approval. I want to lay eyes on the property and see if it's something I believe we can get you multiple offers on. Now, I do have availability tomorrow afternoon or evening. Which works better for you? Yeah, but uh, what's your take going to be out of doing that? Well, it's going to do two things. One, I'm going to actually get a a feel for your property because I'll I'll have laid eyes on it. And I'll be able to see if with my active shoppers right now, if it's something that that immediately meets with their, uh, you know, that that they're looking for and might be able to solve your problem right off the bat with, with a buyer right then and there. If not, which again, I'm not, I'm not saying I have a buyer right now lined up. I don't, but we do have active shoppers. Yeah, well, 
Yeah, I, I might. I certainly might. But, but again, look, at the end of the day, you, you just said it yourself. You are looking to put the, 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 the highest number net to you in your pocket at the end of the day. And I suspect that my method of selling will accomplish that goal better than your friend, better than anybody else out there. And I'll prove that to you in, you know, in writing. So, uh, do you have okay, a, well, what do I have to take in, sweetheart? What is, what is your take going to be on it? Are at this, you, are you at, going to try to sell more than 348 and try to, I mean, what do you, Oh, so you know, yeah. So, so pr pricing strategy. That's a great question. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna run the analysis now. I haven't done that, so I don't want to have a conversation about price until I'm fluent with the inventory that's out there. I'll email that to you, and we'll go over it from soup to nuts when uh, when I meet with you tomorrow. So what time works better, the afternoon or evening? Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. You got it. Okay. So Wednesday night would be better. Tuesday night, I, I mean, I hate to come in tired and then have somebody in my house and put the doors away and all mm -hmm. that crap. Well, let me ask you this because I. Make Wednesday when I got more energy. Or tonight. I can't do it just to Tuesday. Okay, so why don't we do this? I've got a. I'm just I'm looking at my schedule here because I. I what, what time this evening would work good for you? Just let me see if I can block that out. Six o'clock. Okay, so I've got it. All right, done. So let's do that. Six o'clock works great. So why don't we do this? Let let me run. So we'll get. I'll get off the phone with you here. I'll text you my contact information. I'll run the analysis. I'll have it to you this afternoon, and then I'll look forward to meeting you tonight at six. Does that sound good? And then, and then you want to look at the house. Look at the house, absolutely, and we'll have a conversation on how I how I might be able to help you put more money in your pocket. Bottom line. Sound good? And you're you're with Remax. I'm with Remax. Yep, yeah, 100. percent We've got a. Uh, you guys buy it first, or you guys just come with a buyer immediately? Uh, it depends on the scenario. I've got, I've got a team of investors that look. You don't want an you don't want an investor coming in here because here's what happens: they come in with the low ball no, bid. I want to sell yeah, it. you want an end user yeah, who's going to right. So so what now, we. I'm Yeah. And now is the time where everybody's moving because you know anybody moving into our neighborhood has children. Yes, so cool. we all want to sell and buy before our kids are you know in school. We'd like to be settled before we are sending our children to school in August. Right, and that's what I said. Not me, mine's going to college, but anybody wanting my place is going to want to be in, get their book, their kid registered, and get them going to school. Yeah, it's this right now is the, is what. Exactly, which is why I'm going to meet you tonight at 6, all right? Now, let me ask you a question. When I sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? Like, where do I have to put my amazing testimonial? I'll probably uh, shoot a little video with you in it and uh, put it on my uh, website, which you can check out. It's <laughs> Look at at the end of the day, if if at, if your if your girlfriend can come up with a better bottom line number than me, then I would tell you to use her. But I know for a fact that nobody is going to beat me. So I'll look forward to meeting you tonight at six. I'll have the analysis to you this afternoon. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, I think I'm going to have somebody stand in for me. <laughs> nah, I can't wait to meet you. You're, you're, hey, I'm going to do the video and, and no, but you got to be on the Harley when I do the video. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Hey, I appreciate it. This is what I'm going to tell my husband. I'll just tell my husband that we have somebody proposing a situation coming to the house tonight. I, I won't tell too much. It's not like I really know him on it anyway. Awesome. I will listen. I will. I would love to get rid of the house. I mean, I want, I love my house. Right. I've been in it 19 years, but I, I need to go. Yeah. And well, I definitely want to move within the next couple. I want to be gone. I want it has to be right now this summer. 
I, I suspect based on the temperature of the market where you're at and you know we, we've sold a few in there in less than a week so it wouldn't shock yeah. me if, if wouldn't shock me if we were under contract that house, that house next to me it, it has no backyard and then inside their backyard which is the size of two of my you know two of my beds their, their yard is the size of my I have a king size bed so their yard is two king size beds and then they have a little pool the size of one of the king size beds yeah. and then my yard is the and I never understood their yard. I was like, it's so weird. But a lot of the homes in Sorbet don't have nice yards, and I happen to have a beautiful yard. And then I'm along the wall, you know, for the saw grass. Mm -hmm. And then I have a low-lying fence, a low-lying fence that overlooks the canal. Awesome. So it's, it's pretty decent. I mean, I, I would like to... I mean, it's not remodeled brand new or anything, though. It has some upgrades, but it's not, like, yeah, so one of the things that I'll give you is I've, I've got a preparing your home for guide, uh, preparing your home for market guide that I'll, I'll give you, which will give you some tips. There's some pretty cheap ways to um, get more money in your pocket at the end of the day, but we'll go we'll go over all that tonight. Um, so I, I appreciate your time. I'll look forward to seeing you at six, and um, and that's it. All right. All right, honey, I'll let my husband know. Okay, cool. What's your name? My name is Chris. My last name is Igo. I'll text you all of my contact information so that you have it, and then I'll see you tonight at 6, okay? And where did you grow up, Chris? <laughs> I, well, I'm originally from New Jersey. I moved down here when I was 8. I went to St. Coleman School in Fort Lauderdale. We moved to Coral Springs. I went to Ramblewood Middle. We moved to Parkland. I went to uh, Stoneman. Well, I went to Taravella, Stoneman Douglas. And... Um, and we beat uh, Coconut Creek in football. That was our claim to fame. <laughs> right. So yeah, I, my son was a Coconut Eagle. He was an Eagle. But that <coughs> happened in the city when you say Monarch, you know, Monarch is the nice, and I don't know what the other one is. Right. They're out on the parkway. I think they're the Panthers. I'm not sure. When, I was, right. when I was in high school. All right. I'll see you tonight at 6. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye. All right, so she was a talker, but boom, there's my appointment. <clears throat> and some good rapport. Yeah, her husband is gonna be like, who is, to use a uh, Conor McGregor line, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. Voicemail, Carl Burgenham. Please leave your name and number, and I will return your call. <clears throat> so, before I got interrupted by actually setting an appointment, uh, I think one of the questions was um, pattern interrupt or, or pushing back or whatever. Um, so, one of the things I... Hello, this is Chris. Oh, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will be so as a stockbroker on the phone, one of the things that I learned was most people are reflexively set up to just say no immediately. So you have to pitch them to pitch them. So immediately they're going to tell you, no, I'm not interested, whatever. They're going to blow you off the phone. You've got to be prepared to... Um, to push past that because once you do and you get the, so they're going to try to take the power from you by saying they're not interested. You got to take the power back by saying something like, I haven't said anything interesting yet. Put your guns back in your holster and then say whatever you're going to say. And, and you don't have to say those words, but you have to say something similar to it because it just, it, they're not used to the pushback. It completely, Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. My records indicate that your property is for sale by owner. Is that true? Not anymore. Oh, it's sold? Yep. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, how much did it sell for? Uh, so that guy 
was not doing anything. Um, so where was I with that? Yeah, so you got to pitch them to pitch them. And I found that once you get past that initial uh, pushback, the people that are the best clients... Hello. Hey. Hello. My house, my house has been listed. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Who'd you go with? Oh, well, I've got a buyer, so who do I call to figure out who where to set up a showing? You're lying to me. I know you're lying to me. Hello. Hey, it's Chris. I So who do I contact to schedule a showing? Because it's not in the MLS and it's coming up expired. Oh, uh, it, it, it would be Bo Beckett. Bo Beckett. Okay. okay. Well, it, 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 just so you know, it's coming up as, as an expired. While you were on the market for 87 days, did you have any offers on the property? Uh, no, we didn't, no. Oof, that's frustrating. Okay. Um, look, there are three reasons I found why properties don't sell, and you probably know all of them. The first, obviously, is price. Yeah. The second is the condition of the property, which in your case, I suspect, is not the issue. And then third is the way the property is marketed. Now, you mentioned there were no, uh, there were absolutely no offers on the property. How many showings were you getting per week, just out of curiosity? Well, you know, I, I got to cut this. I appreciate all your information, but I got to cut this conversation short, okay? Okay, let me ask you a question in closing real quick. Um, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, the property would sell, and no, two... No, no, Goodbye, goodbye, I love you. But, but let me ask you a question. You'll end up with significantly more money, bottom line. Um, all right, so where am I at? Hang up. No. Well, what was this guy? I did speak to him. So I'm going to send him a video text because it's easy to do. Um, spoke to no appointments. Bad contact. So, Stacy, um, I'm right about to cross five million in volume for the year. And I think that's um, 12 homes. So far. All right, so we are 30 in out of a list of 41. And we're doing big things. Um, what program are you using to do market and that? Uh, so my CMA is a um, a platform called. Hey, this is Chris Igo. With, hi, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Um, I don't know what what property are you talking about. Oh, okay. Are you the owner of Bodega Place in Delray Beach? Is that you? Okay. But I don't know if you guys get it, but I can give you her number. Oh, sure. What is it? Um, 954. Yeah. 593. Perfect. 5353. 5353. Five, okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. So let me ask you this in closing. Do you happen to know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate that I might be able to help? Be honest. Okay, well, I appreciate your candor. Hey, would it offend you if I texted you my contact information so that you have it? And then this way, if you ever have any questions or there's anything I can do to help you as it relates to real estate, you know where to find me. Okay, no, not really right, not right now because I'm in a hurry to go, uh, go. I'm trying to get to work now, okay? Okay, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. All right. So, uh, my market call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three, one, seven, eight, two, eight, 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 eight. Is uh, Touch CMA. 
and I think it's put out by a company called Moxie Works. Uh, in order to purchase that platform, you have to have your, call has been forwarded to an automatic voice your brokerage has to have uh, at least 100 agents and there are some other um, requirements, but it's an amazing platform. So if you have access to it or you can get access to it, I would strongly encourage it because um, I've used a variety, I've used Toolkit CMA, I've used obviously the MLS CMA, which is terrible. Um, and this is just an award-winning platform. It's everything is highly graphical. Um, I just implemented it. So I email it to them, which 99.9% .9 of people will never ever look at until I'm in front of them. And then, um, and then I'll go through it with them as part of my uh, listing presentation. But it's, um, I haven't found anything that's even close to as good. Yeah, buddy. Bam. All right. So we're 34 down. We got one appointment set, 13 contacts, 49 minutes deep. And, um, and we're doing big things. So I had said um, on, on one of my recent uh, Facebook lives, I had said something about like, I think that the smile and dial mentality is the worst possible thing that people can teach. And I, I stand by, and so one of my, one of my friends actually um, challenged me on that. And so here's what I mean by that. I don't believe that smile, when I hear somebody say smile and dial, I just, I cringe. It makes me I, I hate that terminology because I don't want to, oh, they hung up very fast. Let's call them right back. Um, there should be no glad handling going on on the phone. And I'll hear people, when I'm at listing appointments, I'll actually hear people call in and I just hear this syrupy voice where they just yes people to death. Um, I hate that. I think it's totally ineffective. Now, these are just my thoughts. You know, you, you're welcome to have your own. But I believe that in order to be effective on the phone, you've got to be firm. You've got to have a... Hey, it's Chris. It's a realtor. It's a realtor. It's a realtor. It's Chris Igo with Remax. Hey, put your guns back in your holster. Let's talk. I'm calling him right back just because he's a dickhead. Um... <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm not going to spend any more time with him. Uh, the platform is called Touch CMA. Let me look it up here. It's um, Moxie. Hello. Welcome to Verizon Voice Messaging Service. To enter your mailbox, press star. Otherwise, please redial the number you are calling, starting with the area code. Oh, uh, no. We are down to the last one. No, that's not true. We are down to the last two. Hello. Please this... leave your message for Warren Greenspoon. Okay. I will do that. What's up, Dan? Uh, I have not forgotten about you, Mary. Let's just look here. Uh, Moxie. So it's moxie, M-O-X-I, works.com, backslash, touch, C-M-A. Hello. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious. Oh, you're going to hang up on me? I even matched your tone when you answered the phone. <clears throat> You're welcome.
so I kind of feel like I started a couple thoughts and didn't complete them. So if there's anything I started talking about that I didn't complete and you're curious about, write it down now so I can answer it before we get off the phone. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Because five, this, six, one, I think, is the last five, record. Six, four, one, two, nine, is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious how on earth the property did not sell. We specialize in selling properties just like yours in Versailles. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. I would love an opportunity to bend your ear in relation to actually getting it sold. If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. So I left the voicemail. Let's send a video text. Let's, that's it. Your calling session is now complete. That's it. So, <clears throat> shut up. All right, so there you go. That's, uh, let's see here. So what are the stats on that session? Session report for today, 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 all right. Uh, so 97 dials made, 17 contacts made, which is 18%. Uh, one appointment. Um, what is the total talk time? Total talk time was 32 minutes. And the session was, I think, about an hour long. So, not too shabby. There you go. Have a great day. Go out there. Get some. Set an appointment. If, um, if you're afraid, don't be afraid. Just uh, get on the phone. Make some dials. Set some appointments. Get shit done. And uh, if I can help in any way, let me know.